Hello everybody, this is Alex the Handyman and today I'm going to be replacing the bearing assembly for this pump. A few days ago I replaced the mount, the motor mountings and the um, coupler but now the bearing, the bearings uh, on the bearing assembly are making a lot of noise so we're going to be replacing that. So this is the bearing assembly, this is the volute, bearing assembly, and motor. There is an impeller inside here, the bearing assembly, and the motor in between them there is a coupler. I'll show you in a minute. I isolated the pump, I shut off all the uh, uh, valves around the pump do as many as you can but just remember uh, don't forget to uh, turn them off when you are done otherwise you go home and they call you that there's no heat that's because you forgot to turn on a valve so now um, I'm gonna remove this uh, the motor first you can do it different ways you can do you can remove the whole thing but I want to remove first the motor and then the bearing assembly so I can control my water. I don't know how much water is going to come out from here. Remember, uh, some a lot of water is going to come out because there's not an isolated valve. It would be nice if there was one shot of valve here and one here to isolate the pump. So I'm going to remove uh, the motor. I have four screws here one here another one here and then there's two more at the bottom here so i'm going to remove these ones first so before i remove i do anything i'm gonna I remove one side of the couplers there is an allen screw that you have to remove there's actually two one one is in the motor shaft and the other one it's um, in the uh, bearing assembly shaft so I'll show you how we're gonna do it so I moved my coupler so I see my screw here. I don't know if you see it, but I'm gonna, I'll show you when it's out. I'm gonna remove my screw. And then, now I'm gonna remove these four screws. So now I'm going to remove the last screw and now you're going to prepare a surface where you can rest your motor down. I have a bucket here so I'm going to rest it on the bucket that way you don't disconnect the whole conduit. Now remember, let me move it to the side. Now remember what I did earlier. I removed, uh, I loosened up this screw here. And that was on this side of the, of the motor, on, on this part of the shaft, right here. So the screw goes inside there. So now I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna remove this part of the bearing and it's gonna be the same operation. There's a hole, there, there is a Allen screw. Then I loosen up the 
and then I'm gonna remove the coupler and you see that's this is the bearing assembly this now I'm gonna remove these four screws there's two more here and remember water is gonna come out of that so be ready move your tools move your cell phone and everything because it's gonna get wet So now that you have all the screws loosened up, don't remove all the screws and then yank it out because uh, there's going to be a lot of water. So just loosen up and then just kind of see there's a lot of water. So just be careful. And you're going to make sure you have a drain. And I said, remove your tools, remove everything around. So now, now that uh, the water came out, now you're gonna remove all four screws. So now if you see close here, the impeller is broken. That's why it was not pumping, it's all old and corroded so we're gonna put a a new bearing assembly with an impeller and it's this guy here no impeller new bearing assembly I'm gonna I'm gonna show you uh, the bearing assembly and the impeller is all broken and it was about time when you say that. So this is garbage. And now the new one, I don't have the gasket, so I made one. Hopefully it seals. So I, I know you people are gonna give me crap about it, but it's the 24th, 3 p.m. All stores are closed and these people don't have heat, so forgive me or not so now I'm gonna put on my bearing assembly and the oil port has to be on top so now we're gonna do this be careful so the gasket doesn't move so this pump has a lot of corrosion here and my impeller is barely because the diameter close top so now I'm gonna jiggle it I'm gonna do my four screws. Don't get too tight now. I don't want to go into the gas. I don't want the gas to fall off. So don't go all the way on one, do alternate so it gets evenly tightened. And you want it very tight, but don't go nuts. Don't go all your weight on the wrench.
so that's tight now I'm gonna turn the water back on back on right now it's it's supposed to be sealed so no water should come So I just put my bearing assembly and um, it took me like four tries because the gasket keeps sl sliding out. So now I, I have a good feeling that um, it's sealing now. I'm gonna turn the water on to pressurize the system. there so water is right now going into the system and it's gonna pressurize it so cross your fingers because my wife just called me she's asking where am I so um, it's not leaking it's not a full pressure yet but it's not leaking so yeah let's put out the uh, motor back and then we'll see so now we're ready to put our motor back so remember this is a motor shaft and there is a hole in there that's where your allen screw supposed to go so i'm gonna press in there and then i'm gonna drive my screw and if is the if the screw is flush with the um coupler like it is right now a little bit inside then that means it went in well if you see some screw sticking out it didn't go into the hole so you have to center and do it again this hole and so i have to align my hole to here so I can screw it so uh, I put my other side of the coupler and now I have to tighten it so I think I have I got it now I'm gonna do my four screws so now I have my screws here. I have to align this center with this center. So kind of guess that my screw hole is gonna be here. Don't get it tight all the way. Because if you do that, the other screws will not go into the hole. Don't um, strip them. So I'm gonna hit my on button to the pump. And look at that sound. It's pumping water as it never had before. We don't know how long it has been broken. <laughs> So poor people with no heat. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you like this video or, or if it was helpful to you, please like and subscribe.